and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. Today, I'm going to be doing a Team of the Year content review. Now, as you guys know, Team of the Year is over. That was it. I told you guys, Team of the Year hits hard but quick. Like, it just goes. We have all the content at once, and then it's done. They didn't even bracket it this year. They just dropped everything at the same time. Kind of lazy. I mean, for us, it's kind of better, but I'm sure they didn't bracket it. That's what they usually do, which would have prolonged a little bit longer. But, besides the point, the cards are out. Everything's out. I don't know if you're going over the packs, kind of what they gave us, what we expected, and kind of how it went. Now, in terms of team of the year, I did miss a large portion of it being away, but I did come back and get to, I, I was watching YouTube. I was able to stay on top of everything anyways. I know exactly what was up with the whole thing. I just couldn't exactly make videos on it. Now, in my opinion, did I like it? Yes. Did I love it? No. If I had to give it a rating, you guys will know that at the end of the video. When I go through everything and I rate it slowly. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's get to 18,000 subscribers by tomorrow. We are about 150 away. Let's make it happen. All the, all the newcomers, come join. You won't regret it. Comment down below what your rating of the Team of the Year promo was. On a scale from 1 to 10 and give me a small reason why, or even a long one or an essay, whatever you guys feel like doing. I just know you guys are probably too lazy to write all that. And then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 250 likes on this video? You guys have been smashing the like button lately, even with the... The channel being a little lower right now due to the being away so thank you guys for all that so keep it up now let's get into this video so first things first let's come over to the sets like i always tell you guys a good promo has good sets and remember team of the year might be the only exception because team of the year isn't exactly a set based promo there are good exchange sets there are good ways to make coins but it's not always like a promo based on like sets you know the players are pullable cards now these are always fun so i'm, I'm gonna give it to them they, they get a good rating because these are fun for people people genuinely enjoy doing these types of sets now obviously this was the free one that everyone got for doing all the things i i was short i i missed one of the weeks and i just stopped doing them because i knew i wasn't gonna make it although looking at it now i might have still made it i'm not entirely sure but the point being is that that's good they gave us a free one for playing playing the game that's fine fair point number one now another big part of the promo is did they give us a free player for playing the promo yes they did point number two now, I would be mad about not getting a house for a free player, but I really can't because we got two free players. I can't expect much more. Expecting much more would just be greedy. So I think two is fair. Two is two is actually great. One's fair. Two is great. Three would have been over the top. Three would have been a house rules, although it's okay. That I, I want one house rules. We haven't got one in so long, but it's okay. I will take the two free players. So that's a check and a check. So far, Team of the Year hits those spots. Were these fun sets for people to do? Were they fun? Yes. So that's a point. That's like three, three out of ten already. But the only thing I didn't like is that they, a lot of them lost coins. Like at this point, after after people, the first people to find them, they worked. And after everyone, just, like you were paying more coins to them, they're really risky at that point. There's many ways to get them. And it's just such a headache. I'm not going to give it an extra point for that. But three out of 10 so far, pretty solid. Now, next thing going to be the solos. We obviously got a free player. Were they long? Were they hard? Were they fun? What, what was up with that? In my opinion, it took me like an hour and a half. Not long at all. They didn't make us play all of them, which was a big benefit. I like that. They only I only had to play like one. I had to play like some of each sequence. I didn't have to play every sequence. I'd hop. I didn't even have to play the defensive one because that one was taking too long. I played the specialist. I played some of the offensive. I finished almost both of those. Really wasn't bad. Very, very good ratio for the reward. Actually, I think you got more of a reward than what you had to even play. I remember an older Mad used to play for like five hours straight, play like 40 solo challenges, get to the end. They really made it a lot easier. It's really our attention spans are not gonna be great at some point because we, we could barely handle like we progressively keep getting used to smaller uh, bigger rewards for smaller amount of work which is not great but beyond that that's another check so like it's already a four to ten now a big bulk of it's also the players how many usable players did we get how many well how many worthwhile players did we get card arts big too we're at, we're at a four to ten so let's go into the auction house and let's check out these cards starting at the 95s obviously so as far as card art goes I don't want to, I was going to say it's it's lazy because it's very similar every year, but you know what? Sometimes it's not like, sometimes consistency is important. That's like their brand for team of the year. They really shouldn't be changing it up anyways. So I'm fine. The card art's good. That's a five out of 10. Ready to 50. Next is the quality of cards. Out of the 95s, how many were actually usable? I think one Patrick card was usable. Treyway was usable. Everson Griffin was usable, although it wasn't my cup of tea. 
But I'm okay. My opinion, actually, let me go with my my opinion. Ricard, Treyway, Geno Atkins. Let's see, Zang Gonzalez, McCole Hardman. So like five. There's like five out of eight here. That's not bad. So the 95s, that's a check. The 95s hit. They were fine. I, I did not mind the 95s. I thought they were actually a pretty good crop of cards. Corey Littleton, not really that useful. Some guys here, but you know, at the end of the day, it's missing some power-ups. But we're, we're at like a 6 out of 10. This promo wasn't bad. Now coming up to the 96s, 97s, here's where I had some issues, right? I don't think Chris Godwin was that usable. Luke Keekley's usable, but I don't think he's endgame. So Darius Smith is usable, but I don't think he's endgame. Minka Fitzpatrick is actually really good. Calais Campbell is usable, but he's a little he's a little too unathletic, unathletic for me. Casey Hayward, I don't think is that great. Grady Jarrett's pretty good. I don't think any of the my issue with this promo so far was the wide receivers and running back. Two of the most fun positions that people love to buy Madden were highly some of the most, least valued cards in this promo. That was my only issue with this promo. So as far as card or everything, I think we're like at an eight, right? An eight out of ten. Now, obviously, it's not a big promo, so I can't rate it by big promo standards, but I think it's an 8 out of 10 as far as where we're at right now. Now, the extra two points that we're going to probably lose, and it's going to be even if he'd stay at an 8, is because of the fact that the wide receivers were not great. You come into DeAndre Hopkins, like, I don't gotta look, I don't care if you have an, it's like a, it's like Larry Fitzgerald. I don't care if you have 99 catch, 99 route running. If your speed's bad, you're only going to be able to catch 10-yard routes and then go down. Like, you can't, you, like, it's going to be out, down. Don't get me wrong, that's great, but why would I sacrifice big playability for all that other stuff when there's, there's receivers already that I have that can do that stuff while also being fast? Like, Randy Moss can do a lot of that stuff while being still fast. But Cole Hardman can do a lot of stuff while still being fast. So, if you're going to make receivers that have that great catching and great route running and be slow, then don't make the fast receivers anywhere near them, which I don't like that. I, I like that my fast receivers can, but you can't make fast receivers with good hands and good route running and then drop cars that are... Oh, but they have good route running, good hands. Yeah, well, those fast ones do too. So why why would I sacrifice? Obviously, they're big names. Like Michael Thomas. I love Michael Thomas in real life. But you can't play with that. A Saints theme team will have a phenomenal receiver. But yeah, again, like that old saying that I always tell you guys, like Saints theme team, double YY, no scope. I added the triple, the triple three X, Saints chem on him. Plus, I added the John Madden times 85 passing, and now Michael Thomas is good. Yeah, that doesn't matter because I can put a regular base Randy Moss on my team, and he's going to play better. That's that's my point. On a Saints team team, fine, but what is what is the Saints team team ratio in this community? Like 1%? That was my only issue with this promo, was that I was upset. I was excited for DeAndre Hopkins and Michael Thomas and some of these guys. And some of the best players, defensively, it was great. They, they, they hit defensively. Now, the only issue from last year that I have, I think there was more usable players last year than this year. Like last year, I genuinely wanted so many players. This year, I really only... I mean, it could be that my team... I mean, no. I had a lot more coins last year, so maybe not. But it could be that I really only wanted Aaron Donald and George Kittle from this right now. Those are the main two guys I want. Maybe it's my lack of coins that stops me from wanting more cards. But like, what I, what like really draws me is like I need Aaron Donald and I need George Kittle. Jamal Adams, the only reason I don't, I would want him, but I have Pat Tillman. I think he's going to get upgraded soon, so I don't I want to be kind of official with my coins. I think this pro was more of an 8 out of 10, like I said. Had the receivers been better, and Nick Chubb again, like, don't get me wrong. I love Nick Chubb in real life, but did they actually think that this was a good idea? Just like, let me know if they thought that Nick Chubb was a good idea. Let, let, let's just look at this real quick, compared to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is 4 speed faster. He is 1 a cell faster. What is that? Seven agility faster. Three carry less. Okay, that's good. Five catching less. Ten elusiveness better. One trucking better. Same break tackle. Now come over to the juke and spin. Let's see. Stiff arm, same. Juke, ten plus. I mean, no, juke, one plus spin, ten plus. Now, again, my point being here is that for the same price. Oh, and Bo Jackson gets a lot of the same. They probably get the same chems, actually. But Bo, it just, you can't validate the speed. Like, he's just too much faster. While being, I believe, increasingly stronger. Like, way stronger. As a whole. Like, if you combine everything. I mean, the strike... No, the strike's the same. Okay. The similar power backs. But, again, it's like the DeAndre Hopkins thing. Why would I pay for all this power with lack of speed if the best power back in the game, Bo Jackson, or one of the best power backs in the game, is also the best speed back. You know, like, it just doesn't make sense. Now, that's my only thing. I don't know why they thought that'd be a good idea. They should have dropped a Nick Chubb. with it. They give him a 94. I understand in real life, maybe he's not a 94. But then again, Nick Chubb does break some pretty pretty big runs. I understand maybe he's not a 94, but it's a video game, right? 
nothing's realistic in here considering the fact that as the year goes cards have to get better in real life people don't have 100 stats but in the game they're gonna have they're gonna get close to that you gotta compete you know what i'm saying but that's besides the point i think 8 out of 10 it was a solid promo i wish i was here for it i wish i was here to play the majority of it still a fun promo let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section what's your overall rating like what do you guys rate it give me a reason why and did you like last year's or this year's better and if it's your first year just tell me why and make sure to subscribe to the channel let's get to 18,000 by tomorrow make sure to like the video can we get 200 likes in this video guys that'd be greatly appreciated and make sure to stay tuned for the other videos today and the special stream at 7 p.m i'm out see you guys in the next video peace